Good morning, folks. We'll start beneath our feet and work our way up. Bayou Corn, the sinkhole, swallowing more land and demonstrating the landslide tsunami principle on a small scale. Note how a tiny change in land at one end of the water body released a significant wave that appears set to affect the entire surface. We'll stick underground for now to show that yesterday's Panama quake's been upgraded to 6.0. I've had three significant aftershocks at Chile, but one of which is large enough to make me question whether it's an aftershock or part of a multi-day foreshock sequence. At this time, we've got remnants of the minor tsunami that was created along with some seafloor anomalies visible on some of the charts as well. RSOE added the tsunami signatures to its alert map, but I want to point out the tropical development in the western Pacific. Uyen system candidate number two began last night with the solar eruption. We'll come back to the blast, but we predicted the formation of a new storm, and we certainly have it. They're calling out the northern low, but we'll watch both visible systems here, and also, not to be totally forgotten, after officially dissipating, it appears Helen is back from the dead. She must like watching the sun as much as I do. Australia has the same concern today, line of moisture refusing to waver much from that same track. In Europe, we have one system bringing clouds and rain up the western half. Doesn't look too terrible, but weather share if you experience differently. Convergence in the central U.S. should be easy to see. The air masses heading for the center have nothing in common, and I suspect a brawl will outbreak tonight as they deal with their differences. We get to pay the price for it standing below on the ground. Let's go even further above our heads. We'll start way, way out with an ESO release about a couple galactic killers. They say the big galaxy has eaten a few others in its day. Look also at that perfect swirl on the smaller galaxy. Anyway, coming to our second Uyen system candidate, an M6.5 solar flare of longer duration that is not impulsive, released from the active regions and coming on the north. We expected a storm ramp, and this morning we've got double our expectation, but we also said the blast would not have a geo-effective CME. NASA wholly disagrees and shows a spooky-looking shock on their endless spiral. While it appears we could take a glancing blow from the ejecta, this is not going to arrive in two days, NASA's chart is incorrect, and most of the blast is heading north. Something to note, we do indeed have a sun-diving comet that crept in during the solar flare, Always hard to see when transferring the images through iMovie, so go check out Soho Lasco to see it for yourself. Another reason I'm not at all concerned about this CME is that NASA scientists have just confirmed what 175,000 of us have observed and hypothesized for two years. The CMEs are weaker, wider, and less geo-effective due to a 40% drop in heliospheric pressure. 40%. That's in line with the solar magnetic shutdown on track to another cyclic grand minimum and a major upswing in cosmic rays for the entire solar system. The last of those CMEs we expected to impact Earth finally dove across the finish line, a bit more noticeable than his previous cohorts who either missed Earth or impacted weakly as we suggested last night. The shock is not causing any issues at Earth. Meanwhile on the sun, the sunspots have me a bit on the edge of my seat still waiting for a magnetic mix in the center of that group. Meanwhile, the incoming group down south is giving us about a hundred umbral cores to choose from, potential among half. Up north doesn't look too complex, but that was true yesterday when it released the flare. Corona holes moving out of center disk position. We can see the next one is a few days away. We could see more eruptions today, solar flares or filament destabilizations. That comet was a Kreutz and they often come in groups, so let's watch Lasco for more. And if you missed last night's news, I'll link it for you on this page. You'll just have to click the screen. It is vital to understand the two points in last night's program. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.